अरे चिंता मत कर ठीक कर देंगे तुम्हें डॉक्टर साहब बोल आई एम श्योर यू नो सम वन हु वॉन्ट्स टू बिकम अ डॉक्टर और हु वॉन्टेड टू बिकम अ डॉक्टर इन चाइल्डहुड वन इट कम्स टू करियर एंड जॉब बींग अ डॉक्टर इज श्योरली वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर ऑप्शन फॉर मेनी स्टूडेंट्स एंड पेरेंट्स ऑल्सो बट द क्वेश्चन इज इज इट रियली द ओनली ऑप्शन रिलेटेड टू मेडिकल एंड हेल्थ केयर because let's face it the journey to become a doctor is really very tough and takes at least 8 to 10 years and most people are unaware of other good high paying jobs in medical and healthcare if you are a student or someone who is working in medical and healthcare this video is important for you because in this video i will reveal the top 10 best jobs and careers in medical field now there are many other careers that you can opt for instead of a doctor or surgeon and that is the reason i am not sharing doctor as a career in this list as we all know the process of becoming a doctor i am highlighting 10 best careers in medical and healthcare apart from doctor or surgeon now the list has some careers that take the mbbs route but these are less known careers and that's why they are on the list and this list is not influenced by any brand or advertisement this is my honest research and if you like this video share this with your friends and your brother or sister and maybe this video can change their lives number 10 is dietitians and nutritionists now the awareness has multiplied in the recent years about how our diet is critically linked to health outcomes from the aging population and a rising prevalence of chronic diseases such as diabetes obesity heart diseases dietitian and nutritionists are in high demand as they develop personalized nutrition plans to help manage these life threatening conditions now older adults have specific nutrition needs and as this demographic grows more experts are needed who understand food body and nutrition even the government and private sectors are taking initiatives to promote health and wellness often including nutritional counseling as a key component which is further increasing demand for this career in fact one of the areas that is coming very strongly is clean eating like natural non toxic zero pesticide foods and if you can tap that market you can do so well in this career and you don't need an mbbs degree for this and a bachelor's in nutrition or dietetics is good the median annual salary for dietitian and nutritionist is about $63000 in india is about 3 to 6 lakhs in hospital roles but you can also start your own practice and consult patients for diet and nutrition now there's a huge scope if you want to start your own consulting and you can earn a lot of money doing so as well but to make a mark in this industry you must be better than the best mediocre work or just for the sake of earning money won't work you must learn and show results and make yourself a brand name then only you can make it big as an individual nutritionist or a dietitian number 9 is biomedical engineer now doctors and technicians cannot do their jobs without the use of precise machines and equipment and these machines are engineered by biomedical engineers they develop new materials and technologies including robotics and minimally invasive tools making surgery safer and more effective. effective with the rise of ai and rapidly advancing technology the demand for this role is really skyrocketing we are looking at a near future of stem cells lab grown artificial organs and robotic surgery is becoming part of everyday medical treatments and to facilitate all this we need biomedical engineers now i'm sure most of us wear smart watches with health as the major factor for wearing these devices Now through the development of technologies such as wearable devices biomedical engineers facilitate continuous monitoring and management of health conditions outside traditional medical settings now even the increased emphasis on patient safety and effective treatment outcomes fuels the need for biomedical engineering expertise in developing and testing new medical devices now the career path involves a blend of education in engineering and biological sciences along with practical experience and commitment to ongoing professional development now this career does not require an mbbs degree and you can absolutely look at this career the average salary is also great about $90000 so between 5 lakhs to 10 lakhs in india and can grow a lot with some years of work experience number 8 is healthcare informatics the healthcare industry generates as much as wait for it 30% of the world's data yes that's almost one third from just one industry and this will rise to 36% by 2025 a substantial leap now with health related data expanding faster than data generation in other major industries the role of healthcare informatics is in huge demand 
and this is obvious as well since most doctors and other professionals rely on data for diagnosis now healthcare informatics is like being a super helper in the world of doctors nurses and patients you use technology and data to make healthcare better and more efficient now i have done an entire video on this career that you can watch here giving all details about salary roadmap to pursue this career you can watch this video if you want to pursue this career i've given all the details in that career video moving on to number 7 we have healthcare management now the healthcare landscape is becoming increasingly complex day by day with managing operations requirement of high quality patient care ongoing changes in healthcare policies and regulations and advancing technology in healthcare with all these things to take care of the demand for skilled healthcare managers is on the rise more and more healthcare managers are needed to ensure that healthcare facilities run smoothly overseeing everything from finance and budgeting to human resources and patient care services now with rapid growth in healthcare healthcare managers and leaders are needed to planning the future direction of healthcare organizations now these managers and leaders are the lifeblood of daily working of any healthcare facility from managing operations to cleanliness to making sure everything is working as per schedule and requirements now again i have done an entire video on this career that you can watch in the description box with the link now i've given all the road map salary what to pursue so you can watch this video if you want to pursue this particular career okay moving on number 6 we have nurse practitioner or registered nurses as the population of the world is aging the demand for nursing and healthcare is growing at a rapid pace now if we look at top economies like japan that has an average age of about 49.5 italy 48 years germany and other countries have high average age and as the age increases people need more nursing and healthcare services and nurses play a very important role now as per economics time india still needs more nurses as per the recommendation of 34 nurses for every 10000 people and will require india to recruit 1.37 million nurses and midwives meanwhile the government of india's decision to set up 157 new nursing school with almost 100 seats each is a welcome start and on top of it india remains one of the biggest exporters of nurses to countries with high demand such as saudi arabia uae ireland germany netherlands and belgium and nursing is not just for females there is an increasing demand for male nurses and in almost all hospitals and healthcare you will find many males working in this role so actually it is good for both genders now the average salary is also very good and it is between $80000 to about $100000 so if you are empathetic and enjoy taking care of other people this is a good career to be in again again i've done an entire video on this career and you can watch in the description box link i've given all the details of road map salary so if you're interested with registered nurse or nurse watch that video moving on number 5 physician assistants now there's an increasing shortage of physicians particularly in primary care and has led to greater reliance on physician assistants now these are highly skilled healthcare professionals who practice medicine in collaboration with physicians and other healthcare providers now employing pas allow healthcare facilities to provide quality care at a lower cost making healthcare more accessible in fact many regions are expanding the scope of practice for pas allowing them to provide more services and improve healthcare delivery For instance an aging population with more complex health needs require more healthcare services which PAs are well equipped to provide now PAs are trained to perform a variety of functions including diagnosis illnesses developing and managing treatment plans prescribing medication and performing procedures also now this is a great alternative to being a physician and the best part is you don't need an MBBS degree you're eligible for a physician assistant job after completing a BSc degree but you also need experience of 1 year to work as a physician assistant Now to become a PA one must pass class 12 in the science stream complete graduation in biology chemistry or pharma and clear post graduation in science and medical courses once you have all of your prerequisites you can apply for PA program the average salary is about $121000 or about 5 to 10 lakhs in india number 4 is pharmacists now a patient's need for care doesn't end when they leave a doctor's office or hospital right now if a doctor prescribes a medication that may help their situation they interact with next with pharmacist who carefully dispenses pharmaceuticals and educates patients now the demand for pharmacist is increasing due to the expanding role of pharmacy services in healthcare now the growing complexity of medicational therapy and the heightened focus on preventive care and chronic disease management has led to this also also advances in medication therapy have led to more complex regimens that require professional management and expert skills 
Now, the role of pharmacist has expanded to include more direct patient care services such as immunizations, health screenings, and chronic disease management. And all these reasons are driving the growth of this profession. Pharmacy is a diverse and rewarding career as well, with opportunities for patient care, scientific research, and innovation also. Now, the majority of pharmacists, like 45%, work in hospitals or independent pharmacy and provide counseling to patients on the use of prescription and over-the-counter, which is OTC medications. Pharmacists work in numerous other healthcare environments as well, including nursing homes, managed care organizations, the pharmaceutical industry, colleges and schools, and the government. Now, you don't need an MBBS degree for this. You need a B Pharma followed by a D Pharma degree, which usually requires four years to study and is necessary after completing undergraduate degree. Pharmacists earn about $128,000 on global scale and it's about 4 lakhs to 8 lakhs with the upwards of 10 lakhs plus a year also. Number three is psychiatrists. Now, one of the biggest challenges that humanity is facing today is mental health, especially after the COVID-19 pandemic. Organizations like WHO, government agencies have started advocating for mental health treatments publicly on social media platforms. This has created a significant rise in demand for psychiatrists and almost made it one of the highest paying medical jobs in India as well as globally. There is also a growing trend that is increasing the demand for this profession further and it is to integrate mental health services into primary care settings. Now, this integration is increasing the need for psychiatrists to collaborate with other healthcare professionals. Most people have this question. What is the difference between psychologist and psychiatrist? I'm sure you must be thinking about that. Now, psychiatrists are trained in both medicine and mental health, while psychologists focus solely on mental health. Now, to become a psychiatrist, you must undertake an MBBS program. Following that, you can opt for an MD degree in psychiatry or a diploma in psychiatric medicine, DPM, to specialize in this field. Now, the average salary for psychiatrists with four to five years of experience is 10 lakhs per year, while an experienced psychiatrist can earn anything about 12 to 20 lakhs per year. On the global scale, it is a whooping $226,000. At number two, we have critical care doctors. Since medical technology is advancing at a rapid pace, the average life expectancy is rising resulting in aging population, and this means they need more healthcare support. Also, patients are surviving lethal conditions with advanced surgeries and other procedures. And because of these reasons, the demand for critical care doctors is on the rise. And we know what happened during COVID-19, where patients needed critical care and ICU support. Now, hospitals and medical centers require highly specialized skills in managing severe medical emergencies, such as acute respiratory distress syndrome, septic shock, multi-organ failure. And to handle such situations, they need high quality critical care doctors. Now, these specialized doctors play a crucial role in providing immediate medical assistance during accidents, heart attacks, traumatic events, anything which is emergency related. In India, the average annual salary for emergency medicine physicians ranges anything about 12 lakhs to 18 lakhs. But this is really a very tough job to do as these doctors are assigned to ICU and other critical care department. And as the need for prompt medical intervention continues to be vital, the demand for these professions remain high. But this is not always a very easy job. So make sure you research on that as well. Moving on, number one, radiologist. When was the last time you visited a doctor and he advised you for an X-ray or other similar tests? Well, there is a huge demand for radiologists today because physicians and specialists usually suggest an ultrasound, CT scan or MRI in case of critical illnesses and also advancements in technology. And AI specifically is further increasing the demand for specialized radiologists as more experts are needed to interpret the results of these tests. Radiologists are specialized medical doctors who play a crucial role in diagnosis and treating diseases by interpreting medical images. Now, utilizing an array of imaging technologies, including X-ray, CT scan, MRI, ultrasound, PET scans, they provide vital information that helps shape patient care plans. The average salary of a radiologist in India is about 22 lakhs per year which can even go up to 50 lakhs per year as well, yes. And on the global scale, it is a whooping 300 to $400,000. And to become a radiologist, you need an MBBS degree or a doctor degree followed by a specialization in radiology. Now, to get these high paying jobs in medical field, you need to be smart. You need to work on your skills and become an expert in your field. Nothing is easy, but with dedication and constant learning, you too can be at the top of your game. There are no shortcuts in life, so work your way up. 
And this video is very important for parents along with students because there are so many careers in medical and healthcare that has high potential. Look beyond and adapt to the changing world order. If you understood the message of this video, share this with your friend or someone who wants to study medicine or biology. Also comment below if you feel I have left out some other high paying medical careers. Choosing a career and navigating your life is crucial and I feel happy to be with you for you on this beautiful journey. I'll feel it is my responsibility to help you all the way.